So I want to talk about what it means to have perfect technique, and specifically, perfect technique for you. I've got a buddy named David Lawrence, and if you've ever watched the show Heroes, you'll know who David is. He played the puppet master in that show. He was sort of one of the villains. But David is a fantastic public speaker, and he was giving a presentation that I was at, and one of the questions was, you know, how do I eliminate the ums, the ers, the ahs, the you knows when I'm speaking? And David said, you don't want to cut that stuff out. He said, the ums, the ers, the ahs, that is the spice to your soup. And it communicates personality, it communicates who you are. And if you look at some of my earlier videos, I'm real stiff. The first step of the forehand is do this, then do that. And we actually kept reshooting the thing if I said um or er or ah. And now, you know, I don't really care what I say. I'm just sort of like, hey man, hit a forehand, whatever. And the point I'm getting at is, you know, I got this email from, uh, from a guy named Joe, and he asked, Will, what is the perfect take back? I watched you hitting um, in one of your videos, and I saw that your racket face was kind of open towards the back fence. But then I looked at some videos of Agassi, and I saw something else. And that is a classic example of, well, let me put it this way. As long as you have the fundamentals for any shot, what you do in between each one of those fundamentals, that is the spice to your soup. You're welcome to fill in, you know, connect the dots, uh, however you want to <laughs> laugh and keep, keep it going. See, this is the spice to our soup right now. There's a, there's a bee buzzing right here and Adam who's holding the camera is eyeing it. <laughs> um, but this is a good example of, you know, don't be too concerned about, this bee's still throwing me off, don't be too concerned about what goes on in between the fundamentals. If you have the fundamental stuff, you've got the core elements, then you're good to go. And, you know, if you bring it back to, uh, I actually think that, that B was a perfect example of sort of a good kind of off-the-cuff public speaking moment. It communicates personality. It's like, oh, this is who Will is versus some robot telling you to do X, Y, and Z to hit a forehand and then I'm out. So I, uh, I hope this video was helpful. Remember that, uh, that term from Davis, the spice to your soup, right? You want personality. If you want perfect technique, it's got to be the perfect technique for you. You have to figure out, you know, what... Uh, how you individually connect the dots and what works for your athletic talents and so on. So that in mind, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank the bee for interrupting, uh, but helping me make my point. And I'll see you guys in the next video.